Look at this half portion. Where were you last night? I was with you. You go on ahead, Tom. I'll deal with this mook. Polly, he drove you home. Oh, yeah. Christ, that was some night. For you, maybe. But those broads, not so much. Help you, Tom? Nah, just looking around. I saw you talking to the Don, so you know what to do. He didn't say, go look around. <sighs> You're lucky you got me on a good day, Tommy Angelo. Hey, ignore what Sam was saying. Stop. Those parakeets you spoke to the were dog. singing just so for me. So now do as he asks. With what's already... Hey, hey, buona sera, Tommy. So that's a five, a six. Hey, Titi Tommy, big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. And then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -b Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then the next guy, he's an ass. Oh, hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your m -m motors safe where no one can take them, Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Frank says no pieces at the racetrack, so no Roscoe for you today, Tom. What if I already got a gun? <laughs> then you already got a gun. Jesus. Just don't go shooting out the Europeans' tires. That's not the answer to everything. Well, not these days.
I don't even know how to say this European driver guy's name. Leitenberg? Leitenberg Christ knows. irritation or tobacco hangover, Big Break Blues are the choice of more doctors and professionals than any other cigarette on the market. That tells you a thing or two, doesn't it? Make sure you're in good company by choosing Big Break. Now, we return you to our scheduled musical programming. Bobby. Yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. <sighs> Tomorrow morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a Dane than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. She is. 1929 Carazella C Series. Best in class. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard.
Sammy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri, I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. Cars pursuit is 
called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out of here. Big day tomorrow. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom. You got a moment. Oh. Jeffrey. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss OK? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. But Don wants to win. But more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. OK, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Sure. 
Beach. Some drivers really starting to stretch out ahead now. Him! Garcia, Lewis, and Jackson are pushing ahead toward the front of the... Ah, crap! <laughs> Jesus! Hope for a safe race today, 
Vandenberg is out. The favorite is out. Who's going to survive the Los Angeles Circuit? Oh, crap!
Hey, Tommy! <laughs> There's our winner. Hey, Tom. Just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. Emerald's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing some men boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and whores. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Natural wheel man, Tom. You seen Polly anywhere, Vin? He said he was gonna go eat to soak up the boots. But I never seen cannolis come that big. <laughs> That's all for another year, folks. Track will be open until six. Please leave when requested. Polly and the rest of your pals have drunk through half my bar already. You found him yet? You mama made that work easy to Tatami. When they start started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it didn't even make the finish. Ah, magic's in the motor, Ralph. I just showed her where to go. Hey, you seen Polly? Don't know. He said he was uh, uh, hungry or something. Okay. You enjoy yourself. She should show a will, Tom. Thanks. Congratulations, Capillon. That win just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey, anything for the Coletis. Well, enjoy the moment. But to deal with Polly before he embarrasses himself and the family. I will not let the boss's day end this summer late. You don't have to worry, Frank. I'll find him. How you doing? Nothing like a party with the winnings in your pocket. Eh, hey, I should go soon as I have to work, but not yet.
great race, champ. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all racegoers that the sale and consumption of alcohol is strictly prohibited. An arrest will be made. Thank you. Great race, champ. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> when our side of town is drowning in dope, that means you're safe. Hey, you seen Polly? Guy soused. Came through walking sideways. Yeah, I heard. Great run, Tommy! This your first time at the trek? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's as close as I've gotten before. The starts to try to clear us out before dark, but it's long The party won't stop. How'd she drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? Came by. Five minutes ago, maybe. Looked like it had a smell from the barrel. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. How you doing? up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day at the track's over. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home, too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay, then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. <laughs> Today, Tommy, with Italy, the, France, and Great the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. Here we are. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. We all got a doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. You get the call to see the dawn and your minds race and then some bad shit, Tom. All in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... <laughs> Whoever the hell he goes home to. Polly, you're drunk. You're gonna have to clam up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, I want to go with the lady. Uh, I'm not helping you with that today. 
Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I ought to take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. Take me to those sweet patooties. I don't know. Taking you home seems more classy. All right, now we're talking. Oh, boy. You should see these dames, Tom. Ooh-hoo-hoo! I'll leave it to you to swim with the Barracudas, Bolly. You're gonna have to tell me where the hell I'm driving. You don't know? I don't know. Uh, home? Throw me a home. Maybe... Maybe that... Yeah, a good idea. Yeah, well, okay, I'm gonna... Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I, I don't feel so good. That's the call, Tom. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, uh, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah? <laughs> the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's a tough. This is a... Uh, Back of boys near her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cative ragazzi. They talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you working at home, this is a reminder these punks she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Sarah, time to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. I'm not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Polly well, won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Sarah! That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this, this has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tammy. Angel 
It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, um, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo, all this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You dreaming or something? Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. Mm. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well, <laughs> then let's see what you got, Cake Eater. Mm. Where you going here, sweet cheese? Get away from me! Get away from me! Twist the hues wasted on that greaser. Those pins go all the way down, huh? You even touched me in your head! Now, hope you're better than your friends. That's what I got, you son of a bitch.
got a good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it? Don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Oh, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Cuz. She was an ugly, jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Yes, I'll go. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy. Go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know, we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. When Let's I go bust some heads. These punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? 
That guy's calling after Sarah in the street. I got payments drying up from the Corleone. I got Morello taking bites out of our B&A rack. And every time I turn my back, where's it going to end? This is WLH 570. If I were a younger man, these uh, men would be under a bridge, throats a slit, food for fish. We'll teach him respect. Don't worry. With you, I never worry. You're gonna but want food, Tom? Do not tell no. This is the not Don's the got a job for me someplace not out of town. Animal. Don't worry about it. It'll keep till you're back. I got a car for you here, did you, Tom? Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's wear or else and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horseshit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. No, they won't. Thanks, Vinny. Those bats don't get messy. We should have a game out front sometime.
Break some bones down. Now, a news report on the rising crime figures and the reaction from the governor's mansion. The numbers state in black and white that crime is on the rise all over the state. Many commentators are blaming the rise in criminality, thievery, racketeering, and other gangsterism on the economic downturn and resulting social deprivation. In the greater Lost Heaven area last year, there was a sharp increase in the number of gang-related incidents, and the chief of police was moved to create a gang task force, known informally as the Rat Catchers. But Governor Wells, who has suffered criticism for his handling of the increase in violent crime, thinks otherwise. He said, there can be no dispute that times are hard for many. Jobs are fewer and farther between. But that simply is no reason to bite one's thumb at the rule of law. In fact, I feel that adversity has the potential of forging a hardier individual and a more harmonious family unit. Governor Wells came in for some criticism from certain sections, while others were quick to praise him for his commitment to straight talking. How either interpretation plays with... About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, he got yellow fever that time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always suffer the games. Biff, you fat bastard. What are you doing? Chut mau, no chin. Lee Tang all day chin. Dollface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right. I know him. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. The guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Tell me the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. 
get to that pump for all the other pumps. Take them down. Let's break some heads. Johnny, get down! Oh, come on, come on! Get out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! I got this. Dripping out the back of their car. Looks like that's the last of them. Ugh. You're sleeping at the wheel. I 
guys are gonna regret they ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? Dumb son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. Don't want to pop him, Tom. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. This one's finished too. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah, just, uh... Hey, let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Polly. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. Are you sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, It'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah, but be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. 
Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom, but we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. It's not like them to leave a mess like this. I don't get it. You think we made a mistake? Go we'll see Ben. I'll meet you here. He's got a lot to prove. That's for sure. I have faith in him. Let's see what the day brings. I heard about their uh, misfortune, Tom. We're gonna fix it. A lesson learned, I think, eh? Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. You remember when the Corleone Hotel was a classy joint? downhill since 29. Though, I guess the girls are still pretty. You and Polly have to learn something. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, Sam. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Michelle. She's the one from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we were ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah, just don't take all day. Glad he died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, 
I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. Well, that's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great gag, Tom. Write that one down. Thanks. I'll do that. Now, weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Polly. I couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too. Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. Behave yourself in here, okay? Know where I can find the manager? I just watch the door, pal. Hey, handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush. So get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. Hey, good afternoon, sir. I need to speak to Michelle. The only girls available are the girls you can see. Find one you like, and don't make a fuss. Ooh, just how I like them. Why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. Buy me a drink? We can just talk if you don't want anything. What's a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. Darling, I'm not here for questions. Come on, honey. Without you, I can tell you're nervous. But I can step you through what we gotta do. 
Hey, I'm looking for Michelle. Know her? Yeah, she's the popular one. Book yourself in with a guy at reception. You gotta get in line for Michelle. Something on your mind? I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. Know a girl named Michelle. Hey, the only girls I know are the ones behind you, sir. And the only ones available. A drink while you take in the sights. Feel free to approach the girls if they don't approach first. Your friends arrived half hour ago. Get a guy, not before. Ugh, fine. You know the rules, Dottie. Is Michelle in today? Let me check. She's in, hmm. but she's busy. Turn up with Tommy guns? Then it don't That's matter. What you, do. you need to come in. Leave him with the lady next door if you need to. You're his best girl. And he says he wants you here to entertain the new guys he's getting protection from. It don't matter how sick your kid is, you gotta come in and work. Listen, you wanna go back to the Six of Maple, and be my guest. You told me what it was like. Fur coat, and flashing the cars look when there's snow at your feet, and you can't feel your legs for the wind and cold. I'm doing you a favor. Your kid will get better. But you're working on the street again, you'll see him worse. Leave him with your neighbor. Get here quick, and pray to God he don't notice you late. I'll cover for you, but I can only do it for so long. I'll leave it to you. Bye. Friendship between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful.
Um, can I help you? No girl named Michelle. Never heard of her. Girls are all downstairs. Mm, you look like trouble, mister. You here to cause trouble? I'm watching you. You're on our turf. Get him! I'm gonna lay you out! <coughs> Come get him! <coughs> Want some? <coughs> 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 <coughs>
You, Michelle? What's it to you? Fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, the Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. Shh. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You scared then? Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in the head. Do you understand? <laughs> Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. <laughs> Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square.
Checking it out. Don't stop until I take it cover. There. Get a doctor. I need some cover. Ooh. Nice. <clears throat> Buy me a drink. Thank you. 
what it looks like. Ah, sorry.
gunfire and an explosion reported at the Corleone Hotel. I want everyone we've got on this guy. Get up there and bring him down.
No contact with the fellas on the roof. Feels like we lost him. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good... What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! Please! This is what was Please. Billy involved in! Over here! could have stopped all this days ago. The way this city works. Up on the balcony. Molotov. Enjoying this! What have you done? Murder in the house of God! These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. 
Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. That make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. When the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked into church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Turn out like I expected. Whatever you did at the cat house got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Mr. 
called out every cop in the city. trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Let's get back to the bar. We gotta lie low. The way this all went down, we gotta lie low for weeks. Ah, the priest will keep his trap shut. Don't worry. Morello got a bloody nose, and you and Polly are in the clear for whacking Galati's son. Boss will be pleased. Thanks again, Sam, for helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put you behind bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. 
Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. When I recovered some account books from Morello's offices, 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need it and catch on. Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year, until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. Little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, police at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi.